The Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this learning session. I am Joen Pamji for now. I am your manual labor teacher for the class of Form 3. For Form 3. Today, we are going to move to the next lesson. Century. But before we move to the lesson proper, let's do the correction of the homework you were asked to do from the previous class lesson. You were asked to give the importance of sowing roots and pulps. Sowing roots and pulps is important because it is a source of food. Roots and pulps are used as spices. We have examples like onion, garlic, ginger, and so on, even carrots. Also, roots and pulps are source, culti uh, cultivating roots and pulps is a source of employment. You can cultivate to sell and you earn, you earn money. It, this will improve your uh, standard of living. Selling, in, uh, cultivating roots and pulps, it's also important because it is a source of income. As I explained, you will sell it and you will earn money. You will improve your standard of living. So, let's move now to the lesson proper. Today, we are going to continue our, les our learning process with lesson three, entitled sowing roots and pulps. This lesson will be presented following this plan. We shall have at the beginning the learning outcomes of this lesson, followed by the prerequisites. Next, we are going to look at the problem situation. After that, the learning activities. Next, the summary. Also, we are going to have some evaluation, some questions given as evaluation and their corrections. Finally, you shall be given, Lena shall be given a homework or an assignment to do for the next lesson. So, as presented on the lesson plan, let's start with the learning outcomes of this lesson. As objectives of this lesson, learners are expected at the end of this, by the end of this lesson, they are expected to, or they should be able to define keywords. We are going to have some keywords under this lesson. Learners are also, should also be able to understand the importance of planting roots and pulps. Lastly, Learners should be able to describe the stages of planting roots and pulps. This is all about the learning outcomes of this lesson. Let's now move to the next point, the prerequisite. Before we start, learners are expected to have knowledge on the following. One, they must have knowledge on types of roots and pulps. They can be example of local, of local roots and pulps. That is roots in the environment that they are cultivating. 
They should also have knowledge on tilling the soil, that is, part of soil preparation. Let's move now to the problem situation. It's a short text. As you know, from this text, I expect you to deduce a problem. By the end of this lesson, you are expected to deduce a problem and later suggest possible solutions. So, we are going to read this short text together. Your classmate went for holiday in the village. His grandmother gave him potato seeds to sow. He does not know the first step, the first step to take. Let's take over for you. So, can you follow this? You have to deduce the problem. Your classmate went for holiday in a village. His grandmother gave him potato seeds to sow. He does not know the first step to take. Later, we are expected to provide or to suggest possible solutions to the problem you have deduced. Let's now move to the learning activities. The learning activities or the lesson content are the activities we are going to find in this lesson. We are going to look at definition of keywords. Next, we are going to look at the importance of planting roots and bulbs, followed by plant, the planting period, that is when to plant. Then, we shall look at where to obtain seeds. This will be followed by sowing, planting, sowing or planting roots and bulbs. And lastly, we are going to look at planting the planting rules. So, let's begin or let's start with the first item, definition of key words. In this lesson, we are going to define three main words. We have planting, seed, and germination. About planting, planting is putting seeds in or young plant in the ground to grow. Simple. So planting is putting seeds or young plants or seedlings in the ground to grow. Note that. Seed are, seeds are grains or ripened ovals of plants used for sowing. The next word, keyword, is germination. Germination is the process whereby seeds or spores sprout and begin to grow. I repeat, germination is the process whereby seeds or spores sprout and begin to grow. That's the beginning. Let's proceed by looking at the importance of planting roots and bulbs. Why is it important to plant roots and bulbs? Firstly, it is important because roots and bulbs are source of food and fiber. You have examples like carrot that you know very well, it's common, it's a, it's a food, for example. Also, roots and bulbs are source of nutrients. You have uh, fibers, for example. You have roots and bulbs are also used as medicines. We know the examples of roots and bulbs like onion, like ginger, like garlic, and so on. That has medicinal virtues. Also, roots and pulps are used as beauty products. As beauty products. We have like carrots that are used to produce creams or body lotions that you, you use to rub yourselves. 
Next, roots and pulps are used as spices and seasoning. You, you know very well, that's the, even more, one of the most important use of roots and pulps. Because you, you have examples like garlic, like onion, like ginger, that will raise the taste of food. Let's proceed by looking at other importance of planting roots and pulps. Another, another important is that is it releases it releases oxygen. Just like many plants, roots and pulps releases release oxygen that human human absorbs and they, they, they absorb to and transform, they absorb carbon dioxide and transform into oxygen that we humans absorb. Also, it reinforces the soil. How? Roots, as their genome explains, are roots. So, they hold the soil and prevent the soil, protect the soil from erosion. From runoff, for example, the seeds or the leaves, rather, that falls from these plants will fertilize the soil, will improve the soil quality, and later you will have better yield. Also, roots and pulps, sowing roots and pulps is very important because it's a source of employment. You can engage yourself in such an activity just by cultivating roots and pulps be it in a large scale or a large scale or not and if you sell you will earn money that will improve your standard of living next it is a form of distraction at times you can have your garden your rest bed just beside your house while you plant few few roots or pulps just by looking the way that they are progressing they are progressing you feel a sort of satisfaction and that will distract you. That's a source of distraction. Lastly, it's a source of income. As we earlier explained, you can decide to cultivate roots and pulps to sell and earn money. It is a source of income. Now, let's move on to the next point, which is Planting the planting period. When is it advisable to plant your roots and pulps? It depends on the region. That's what you have to note. If you are in the southern part of Cameroon, for example, it's advisable to plant your, your, your roots and pulps during from March to mid-April or August to mid-September. At this period, the soil is wet enough for the seedlings and the seeds precisely to germinate and for their roots to expand. Also, in the, in the north region, in the savannah north region of Cameroon, for example, it is advisable to plant roots and pulps in the month of June. Because at this period, the soil is also moist enough. That's the beginning of rainy season. And that will favor the good progress of your crops. Let's now look at the next point, which is where to obtain seeds. You can obtain seeds from seeds that are stored at home. If you have been cultivating roots and pulps, you can, store, you can decide to use the ones you have, you, you have harvested formally and plant them once more. You can also buy them from other farmers, from the market, or from research institutes, like Iraq, for example, or uh, the, the regional delegations of, for agriculture, or even the Ministry of, of Agriculture. Why not? Yes. Okay. Let's look at the next, which is sowing 
planting, roots, and pulps. This is the process of sowing, planting, and roots and pulps. It also these are also it also entails the, the 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 requirements what you have to to what you need before planting your roots and pulps. The first thing you have to wait or you have to plant when the soil is irrigated. That is when the when it is when there's when rain fed. When the soil is moist, mm, that's the best period where to plant. As you can see on the image, that's the best the best time where your seedlings, your seeds will germinate. Next step, you select good quality seeds. You know the result of your product when it comes to harvesting depends also depends on the type of the seedlings of the seed you have chosen so make sure you choose good quality seeds so as to have a good yield make sure you prepare the seeds for sowing and planting it depends on the on the seeds you are on the on the species you are you are, you are planting there are some seeds you have to, to soak in water. For example, you may soak onion for 8 hours, just 8 hours, or garlic for 6 hours, and so on. Okay. There are other, spe there are other species which you don't necessarily need to soak in water. You just have to keep them in, dry, in a dry area waiting, to, waiting for the planting period. As you can see on the image, we have examples of good quality seeds. You have examples of turmeric seeds, for example. You have examples of garlic seeds. You can see they're healthy. Let's move to the next step. You now come to plant. You have to plant now. What you have to do is to make holes. You make your holes and then you plant your seeds. When planting, take care of the direction of your seedlings, of your seeds. Make sure their heads, if you can say if you can say so, are turn their, their shoots, yes, are turn are upward. So the next step is to Cover with a little soil. As you can see on the image, it depends on the method you have adopted to plant your you have adopted to plant your seeds. You can plant them, you can first place them, align them, and then later pour little soil on, or you can plant each each in the soil at a reasonable height from the soil. Okay, the next is to check the planting direction, as we said. You have to check the planting direction, that is the shoots. You should make sure the shoots are looking upward, so that they should progress normally. Let's move to the next step. You have to add fertilizer, that is to improve the soil quality. It depends in your, uh, on your region. You can use manure, for example, from kitchen, like kitchen waste, or from animals, like the cow dung, chicken excretors, and so on. You can use them to improve the soil quality. You can also use chemical or, uh, chemical or inorganic fertilizers to improve the soil quality. The next step is to stop weeds. How can you stop weeds? That is to stop the progression of unwanted plants. You put mulch around the plant, as you can see on the image. You put mulch, that is dry plant, dry herbs or uh, around the, the plants. That will reduce the progression of wheat and also 
uh, water evaporation. The next step is to water. You water once you have planted, you water your, 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 your seeds so that they should expand, your seeds should penetrate proper. So you can adopt, you can decide to adopt any irrigation method. We have, for example, on the image, the watering can method, which has been proposed. If you have a small land, for example. We are done with the stages of sowing and planting roots and crops. We are moving to the planting rules. That is what you should know when planting. One, you should consider the depth of the hole. For large bulbs, you should dig holes of about 10 to 15 centimeters. For small holes, you can dig the holes, for small uh, plants, uh, roots and bulbs, you can dig the holes of about 10 to 7 to 10 centimeter distance. So, it depends on the species. It must not necessarily be like this. If your seedlings are too small or large enough, it depends. You can dig a, big, a bigger or a smaller hole. The next rule is the distance between the rows. If you are using holes, rows, you can decide if you want your crops to be to progress normally, you can decide to use a larger distance between the crops. Also, consider the distance between the plants. That is, in other words, the planting density. How many plants are, have you planted on one mount, for example? How many plants can you plant on one mount? That's something you should also consider. Lastly, you should consider, the, 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 you should also make sure you have planted one seed in each plant, at each planting point. That is, if you have dig a hole, make sure you have planted just one seed for it to expand and to grow normally. So, let's move and have a summary of our lesson and do, and do a summary of what we have treated so far. We are going to, in this lesson, we, we look at definition of keywords like planting, seed, and germination. We also look at the importance of planting roots and bulbs, followed by the stages of planting roots and bulbs, and lastly, the planting rules. Remember, at the life situation, you were asked to deduce a problem. We will now look at some questions and provide the answers. We will start by resolving the problem earlier stated. The question reads, what is the problem in the real life situation stated above? Have you deduced the problem? You are expected to have deduced the problem. It is ignorance of the first step to follow when planting. Let's talk over what is the problem in the real life stated above? It is ignorance of the first step to follow when planting. Next question. What is the first step to follow before sowing? The first step is to prepare the soil. Remember, to prepare the soil, you have to follow other steps like clearing. Make can, you can make, uh, you can till, you can make furrows and so on. The next question reads, you have to answer true or false. Question one, seeds are grains or repent, ripened, sorry, ovals of plants used for sowing. 
Second question, planting is putting compost in the ground for the good growth of plants. Let's take over again. Answer true or false. Question one, seeds are grains are ripened ovules of plants used for sowing. Question two, planting is putting compost in the ground for the good growth of plants. Answers. Answer one, it's true. Seeds are grains or ripened ovules of plants used for sowing. Question two is false. Planting is not putting compost in the ground. Next question. What are the importance of planting roots of and poles? First importance. Answer. It's important to plant roots of and poles because it's a source of food. Also, it is a source of employment. And lastly, it's a source of income. Let's take over. Planting roots and pulps is important because it's a source of food. Also, it's a source of employment. And lastly, it's a source of income. Next question. The best time to plant roots and pulps in Cameroon is, in this equation in general, in Cameroon is, a. During offset of the dry season in Cameroon. B. During the offset of the raining season. C. During mid-raining season. And D. During the end of the dry season. A. During the offset of the dry season in Cameroon. B. During the offset of the raining season, C during mid raining season, or D? The answer is A. Rather, is D during the end? Is A rather during the offset of the raining season? We are we gave months earlier. So let's proceed with the next question. Cleaning, clearing and tilling during the first planting calendar in Cameroon is carried out during the following periods. A. Beginning of July B. Mid-April to mid-June C. Early March to late April D. June to late July What's the correct answer? C. Early March to late April. Let's take over. Clearing and tilling during the first planting calendar is carried out in Cameroon during the following periods. A. Beginning July. B. Mid-April to mid-June. C. Early March to late April. D. June to late July. The answer is C. Early March to late July. Okay. Next question is a homework. Is homework. Take home assignment. Each and every one of you have to do and answer this question by using the knowledge newly acquired. Next class, we are going to do the correction. It reads, explain any method you can use to test the soil before planting roots and pulps. Take over. Explain any method you can use to test the soil before planting roots and pulps. The reference above will help you do some research to further understand the lesson. We have come to the end of our lesson. In our next lesson, we will be looking at soil amendment. See you in the next lesson. On a tege si, ma tege yop. On a tege minga, ma tege nyom. On a tege majang, ma tege ndom. Mane tambia ninyane, njobya yen. Gani bana, 
dang ma tege mot ngani la kiri wa tege ndong esa tina bia dinki do mane tambia ninya ne jobia yen tam tama mote tam zabike tam tama tonge tam zabike tam tam tama mote tam zabike mane tambia ninya ne jobia yen 